the behavior of a function for x with large absolute value is called the end behavior of the function since it describes the behavior of the graph when values of x decrease without bound, which means the values of x are large negative numbers, or increase without bound on the right end where values of x are large positive numbers. Polynomial functions have the domain all real numbers, so it makes sense to ask for the end behavior, how the function behaves when the values of x are large negative numbers or large positive numbers. As it happens, the polynomial function behaves at the left and end point as its leading coefficient, a sub n x to the power n. And therefore, the graph of that function will behave at the left end and right end in the same way as the graph of a sub n x to n. We know that the graph of a sub n x to the power n depends on the sign of a sub n, and on whether n is odd or even. We discussed the graphs of such functions in one of the previous videos. So let's consider the four cases that could occur. Suppose that n is an odd number and a sub n is positive. The, the graph of the function a sub n uh, times x to the power n looks like the cube function. And therefore, on the very left, the function graph shows such behavior. It means that we'll be starting the graph from below, going up. We'll say that the graph when x decreases without bound also decreases without bound. So on the left, we'll, so this is the how we start the graph. We'll start the graph going up from infinity and will end the graph also going up to infinity. Now if n is uh, a sub n is negative, the graph it looks like reflected cube function. So this time we'll start the graph going down and we'll end the graph going down as well. When n is even, and a sub n is positive, the graph looks like a square function. So we'll start the graph going down and we'll have to end the graph of the polynomial function f of x going up. When n sub n is negative, the graph looks like inverted or reflected cube uh, square function. So we'll start this graph going up from minus infinity and it will end the graph going down as well.